Costa. Please tell me, Master, what must I do to have eternal life? Go and sell all you have and give it to the poor and you shall have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. Sell everything. Everything I own. Everything my father slaved for. Everything. I am committed. My dear friends, today as we celebrate the 28th Sunday of the Ordinary Time, James Kalam tells us this amazing story in his writings. Years ago, a young salesperson was assigned to a rural area. One day, he came to a farmer who was sitting on the easy chair and he addressed him and he told him that he has a book that will tell him how to form 10 times better than he was doing. The farmer did not bother. Seeing the salesperson, he told him, that he already knew how to form 10 times better. Then, dear friends, the farmer was capable of doing, of forming better, but he lacked commitment to do so. In today's Gospel too, the rich young man was also capable of doing more than just keeping the commandments. But he too lacked commitment. Today's gospel makes it clear that there is more to Christianity than just keeping the commandments. The rich young man kept all the commandments and Jesus addressed him for this and admired him for this. But Jesus also made it clear to the rich young man that Christianity is more than just a set of negative commands. Christianity consists in the positive way of looking at things because it is a positive religion. Jesus said, if you want to follow me, transform change your vision stop seeing goodness negatively like not hurting others and start seeing it positively as helping others helping people do this and you will find happiness in this life and in the next one too many of us dear friends are like the rich young man in today's gospel we have kept the commandments too, but we have not yet been able to reach out generously to the needy. Why? Because we are afraid to give ourselves in service of God, in service of people. We are afraid of our name and fame than Jesus himself. We do a lot of things for wrong reasons. We do a lot of things, but not what Jesus wants, not the God's will. So today's gospel is an invitation for us to reach out not just to our neighbors, but also to Jesus. It's an invitation to trust Jesus when he says, whatever you do to others, you do it to me. Therefore, my dear friends, we need to trust in the words of Jesus. 
Only if we do this, then we will have peace, says Jesus. Do this and you will find peace in this life and in the eternal life in the next two. I am committed.